All right, good morning. Our development team's been hard at work and we have a plethora of changes to show you with eFlip. I'm really excited about some of these new features. I think it's gonna help you find even more uh, flippable books. Uh, we're about six weeks into the launch of eFlip and uh, already putting some changes into place and we've got a whole bunch more of them on the horizon. So stay tuned, lots of exciting things coming down the pipeline. Let me walk you through some of these new changes. Some of them are more wholesale and uh, some, some wide open changes like you can do a publisher search now we've got a trade-in value and I'll, I'll explain that in a minute some of them are just more simple um, user interface type things or slight improvements to the calculator and we're going to keep both of these types of changes coming and if you have other uh, ideas for improvement or feedback please email me let me know the bookflipper at gmail.com i'd love to get your insights and uh, we'll work together to keep making this uh, an even better product down the road so first off we've got a publisher search this can be extremely helpful, especially if you're looking for textbooks. We do have a known textbooks database, and I'll get to that in a minute as well. But the publisher search, you could type in things like Pearson or McGraw-Hill, and that's going to bring up uh, publishers that are known to do a lot of textbooks. If you've been in the book industry for a while, or you'll probably have your favorite publishers that you look for when you're out scouting in thrift stores. You can type those in and see what comes up. Again, the more niche, the better, uh, the less chance there are of having competing prime offers. And you may find some books that uh, have a really good chance of selling for a, a significant profit. So let's just jump right in and show you how that works. And then we'll kind of walk through the other questions as well. So in this case, I'm going to type a publisher. It's called Springer. They do a lot of medical prints as well as some uh, educational texts as well. You can use publisher in addition to your filter searches as you did before. So we're going to go ahead and bring the max price down to $20. And we'll bring Amazon's up to $40 just as a basic search. I'm going to leave everything else the way it is. I'm going to leave the trade-in value wide open so it won't impact my search. I'm going to leave the number of offers alone, the rank alone, and the, and the uh, publishing date alone. And let's just see what pops up. So as you can see, anything with the word Springer, so Springer Publishing Company or Springer, and this is just the way that it's in Amazon's database. It's pretty much the same company. You can see that all the way down. Um, you can use multiple words if you want in the publisher search and it'll return whatever's in the string there. The more uh, specific you can be, the more you're gonna you know, delete out poor inexact results. What you can do then is as you click on any individual line, it stays green and if you click on a link, it does the same thing. That way you know which book you're looking at. You can easily come back and, and find that book. So let's just jump right into the very first one here. As you click on the ISBN, remember it's gonna pull up the Prime offers. So you can see here the cheapest Prime offer is $35. I've got the Keepa extension, just kinda, of, it's a plugin for Chrome. And you can see the sales rank has been, you know, at worst about 100,000 in the last three months and consistently much better than that. You can see Amazon's price has been on the listing uh, right around $60. So you know that you have a high, a high ceiling, you know you can price under that and, and most likely get the sale if you're competing with some of the other FBA sellers. So if you wanna look at the non-prime offers, you can pop on over here, you can see the price is 585. And one thing we did is we did tab control. So as you work your way down, you click different items, they're all just gonna pop right into the same tab so you don't end up with 30 or 40 tabs open. I like to do that on a regular basis, but I know most of you like to be a little neater than that. Um, so what we can do here, again, the, the pricing differential goes from 585, or if you want to get a good book, uh, actually Daily Deals is a drop shipper, so ignore them. You could do Glenn the Bookseller, usually a uh, consistent, consistently good seller. You could pick this up in good condition for right about $10, including shipping. So we could go 10 to 35, so let's go look at that. Um, again, we've got the Camel link right here. Since I have the Keepa chart enabled as a Chrome extension, I don't really need to look at the Camel data. I'm just gonna jump right to the calculator. So it's gonna take the lowest price and add 399, which is close in this case, but we're not gonna buy the cheapest option. We're gonna buy the second or third cheapest option. So we're gonna spend 10. Now you'll notice we've got a middle column here that actually shows you a dollar profit. That way you don't have to do all the math in your head. So we still have the same profit margin set up along the side. If you wanna make at least 100%, you need to price at $28. Well, good news is the lowest prime right now is 35. So you can actually type in a custom price down here and say $35. That's gonna give you an R, a return or a profit of 155% and a profit of $15.55 on your $10 investment. Let's say for some reason you thought the price might tank, you might only be able to get 29.95. You can plug that in, you're still gonna make over 100% return 
If that book fits your criteria, again, the sales rank is under 40,000, so it should turn relatively quickly, and it's, it's been popular all the way throughout the last three months, not just in January during textbook season. So all those things stack up. This should be a good book. I'm going to leave it out there. Whoever kind of comes and finds it first can have it. Um, and that's how the new calculator works. So we tried to add just an, another column and then give you the ability to kind of play with a range of prices uh, as well as a range of purchase prices just to get an idea. And again, this is calculating all of FBA's fees. It's calculating the inbound shipping, the outbound shipping based on the weight of the book. And it just makes sure that you know what you're doing before you get into buying any book. Um, under the analyze column, since we're here, we kept camel separately because a lot of people like looking at those charts. And again, we've done tab control with that. So as you click on any different camel chart, it will always go back into the same tab. Just a just a nice little feature where you know you don't have to clog your you know your window with tons of tabs. We tried to make that a little simpler. If you click on the analyze feature, you can also find the Keepa data. And then as well, you can go to add all or book finder and find the same book. So for example, we could find it in acceptable condition on Amazon. Let's go look over at add all and see what pops up. Usually Amazon's the best market to find it. Um, and again, it's including shipping in that, in that as well. So you can actually find it from Better World Books. Um, and that's not going to be on Amazon. You can find it on Alibris as well, just for a couple pennies cheaper. So in this case, I'd probably still stick with Amazon. They've got a great... Um, customer service policy, they're always going to take care of you as the buyer. Um, but in some cases, you could find a book uh, much more cheap, cheaply outside, and that'll give you a different option or just some different ways to find books. And we wanted to put as many options as we could into your hands. Let's look at the trading value real quick. Now, some people are going to try and use the trading value to try and find books where you can maybe pay $20 and the, you know, the max trading is $30, so you could pro possibly profit $10 just off sending that into Amazon, so you could buy it from Amazon and then just flip it back around for guaranteed amounts. A couple of challenges with that. One, you have to buy prime offers to take advantage of that because otherwise, when, by the time you lock your price in and the book shows up two weeks later, if you bought Merchant Fulfilled, you're not going to have time to get it to Amazon in time, so that just won't work. Um, that's not the main goal of this. The main goal is Amazon knows the book industry. And if they're assigning a trading value, so they're willing to pay a certain amount for a book, they know something about that book and we should probably pay attention. So the idea is if they're willing to pay an amount for a book, and you can see down here some of the books they're not willing to pay for. So this book we just looked at, there's no trading value. That doesn't mean the book's not valuable. It just means Amazon doesn't have a use for it. They're not going to use it in a rental program. They don't think they can flip it. Whatever reason, they haven't assigned a value to it. Um, some of these other books do have a value, and we'll look at those in a minute. Um, the other thing is this price fluctuates often. So right now, our data updates twice a day, um, but the trade-in values can fluctuate dozens of times a day. Every time someone you know, sends a book to Amazon and locks in a price, the trade-in value will usually come down. It's really trying to be reflective of the supply and demand out there, and again, it can change multiple times a day. So let's go look at one. Here's one, Clinical Teaching Strategies. We can pick it up for $14 plus shipping, so $18. Amazon's willing to offer eight. So again, they're assigning a value to it. Let's just go take a peek. So again, the cheapest prime right now is 40, 43, and then it jumps to 45. And again, Amazon's on the listing at 55. These green squiggles are sales, that's great. It's been as, as poor as uh, 400,000 in the last three months. But yeah, as you can see with all these squiggles, it's selling consistently. So let's pop back and see if we can still get a book for, actually the price dropped a little bit, which is great. That works in our favor. So we can pick the book up in good condition for basically $14 plus four, so $18. And we could sell it theoretically for about 43. And with a book ranked this well, selling this consistently, I'd feel pretty confident that I could get close to that. Worst case, 35 is always a great price. Anybody without Prime can still get um, the free super saver shipping as a result. So again, our pricing is going to be basically 18 up to 43. Let's plug those in. So we got our calculator. We'll just plug in 18 for simplicity's sake. And if we could get the $43 price point, we're going to make almost $15 on this book or 83% ROI or profit margin rather. If for whatever reason we think 35 is a more realistic figure, we can still profit $8 or 45%. And again, with the rank of 107,000 and with the rank sales history that we saw, it's probably going to sell fairly consistently. Might be another good book to add to your arsenal. Don't be afraid to spend the $18. If you can make $8 and you never had to leave your house, pay for gas, 
fight the crowds at library sales, it can be worth it. Um, and as you get more comfortable, you'll be willing to accept some tighter margins um, with this software. One more thing before we go, that's pretty much the new changes. Um, hopefully you like them. Hopefully it allows you to find some more books. Once you're logged into the software, come up to the URL. Right now you'll just see it, it ends with FBA. Delete out FBA and type in the word textbooks. We've had great um, feedback to this feature. It was kind of an early adopter feature. It was supposed to go away at the end of January. However, our user base has loved it so much, we've decided to just make it available to everybody. We'll make this a little easier to find in the future, but for now, just after you've logged in, that's the important piece, come up and type the word textbooks. You'll see two things here, FBA arbitrage, which is the basic search feature, and then known textbooks. And known textbooks is a database of between 400 and 500,000 textbooks. And if you look down here, a lot of these don't necessarily look like textbooks. But what we did is we basically scraped the syllabuses or syllabi from um, colleges and universities all across the country. So if there, it's on a class list or if a bookstore is offering it for sale for certain classes, it popped up on our radar. We put that into our database. And so these are books that are, that are going to be used at least in the fall or spring semester in at least one American university this year. So you'll still find some high sales ranks if you're willing to look for them. Uh, and again, some of these books are more like paperback classics, but it's books that are being, you know, it's required reading for a class. So you could still set some of the basic parameters, you know, set what your budget is, set an Amazon high threshold just to make sure you're finding some good books and search from there and see what pops up. But again, this kind of speeds up that process or limits your search further to help you find books that are known to be used in universities. And again, that's available to ev everybody that uh, becomes an eFlip member. So be on the lookout for that. Any more questions, drop me a line. I'd love to get some feedback on what you think. And good luck flipping. Adios.